el Real Madrid. Toca redondo, se deja volar atrás para Embe, el balón para Yalmino de peligro, va a disparar. Jalma Feitosha Diaz, also known as Jalminia, was a football prodigy whose talent on the field was matched only by his tumultuous personal life. He was a player whose skills and technique earned him the admiration of fans and players alike, but whose off-field antics and volatile behavior cast a shadow over his otherwise illustrious career. Known for his excessive behavior and tendency toward self-destruction, Jalminia serves as a prime example of how dangerous a combination of genius and temperamentality can be. This documentary explores the life and career of this enigmatic figure, examining both his highs and lows and exploring the inner turmoil that ultimately led to his downfall. Jalminia was born in 1970 in Santos, Brazil. From a young age, he showed a natural talent for football and was scouted by Rio de Janeiro's Flamengo team at the tender age of 16. Despite his youth, Jalminia quickly worked his way up through the ranks and by 1989 he had become a key player in the first team, known for his exceptional ball skills and precise set-piece execution. His impressive performances on the field earned him recognition as one of the most promising talents of his generation by experts and pundits across Brazil. However, despite his obvious potential, it became clear that Flamengo could only hold on to him for so long before he would inevitably move on to bigger and better things. In 1993, Jalminha's career took a leap forward as he transferred to Sao Paulo's Guarani, where he continued to develop as a player. He spent a brief loan spell to Japanese team Shimizu Espulse in 1994 and it was a great opportunity for him to gain international experience and showcase his talent to a wider audience. The biggest move of his career to date came in 1996 when he joined the Brazilian powerhouse team Palmeiras. It was with Palmeiras, known as the Alviverde, that Jalminha truly reached his full potential as a player. Despite playing in only 22 matches that season, he scored an impressive 12 goals from midfield. This was a record that even a striker would be proud of, but for Jalminia it was just one aspect of his game. He was known not just for his goal scoring abilities, but also for his entertaining style of play, his skill and his ability to give fans a show. He was a player who was always looking to entertain and excite the crowd with his technical abilities and creativity on the field. His excellence on the field earned him the Bola d'Oro award for that season and he was called up to the Brazilian national team further solidifying his status as one of the most talented and exciting players in the world. As is often the case with Brazilian football, Jalminia's success and impressive performances on the field caught the attention of European clubs. National newspapers began speculating about which team he would join, with rumors swirling about potential moves to Italy, England or Spain. In 1997, Deportivo La Coruña answered the question by spending approximately 10 million euros to bring Jalminia to the northwest of Spain. This seemed like a perfect fit for him, as Deportivo was a team on the rise and with Brazilian manager Carlos Alberto Silva at the helm, Jalminia would have fellow countrymen to rely on for support and guidance. Though his former Palmeiras teammate Rivaldo left immediately, Jalminia was already familiar with Flavio Conceição and Luizão from that team and he soon developed friendships with fellow Brazilians Donato and Mauro Silva. The weather in the northern Spain was quite different from what he was used to, but the camaraderie and support of his new teammate made the transition an easy one for him. 
he quickly adapted to the style of play and culture of the league and became a key player in the team. His performances on the field helped Deportivo La Coruña to achieve great success during his time there. In 1998, Jalminia's coach Carlos Alberto Silva was replaced by Javier Irueta, but it hardly affected Jalminia's performances on the pitch. He continued to produce some of the most captivating and dynamic football that Deportivo La Coruña had ever seen. His speed, his off-the-ball movement and of course his impeccable control of the ball thrilled audiences across Spain. Jalminia was a creative force in midfield, always looking to create goal-scoring opportunities for his teammates and himself and his ability to score goals and provide assists has made him a vital part of that team. His crowning achievement came during Deportivo La Coruña's title winning season in 1999-2000 as he scored 10 goals in 31 games from the center of midfield, making him one of the best players in the league. It appeared that Jalminia would go down in Deportivo La Coruña's history as a beloved fan favorite, admired for his exceptional talent and entertaining style of play. However, his career was marred by a series of personal issues and conflicts. He frequently had disagreements with teammates and had a tendency to make public outbursts, which led to strained relationships within the team. Despite his undeniable talent, these controversies often overshadowed his performances on the field. In 2002, things reached the boiling point when he headbutted coach Javier Irueta at the club's training ground. This incident was the culmination of a long-standing feud between the two and it marked the end of Jalminia's career with Deportivo. This moment of impulsiveness severely impacted the rest of his career, as he was not selected for Brazil's World Cup squad that year, which was a major disappointment for him and his fans and he never got to play for his country again. At 32, he was playing on loan in Austria, his fiery nature having contributed to bringing an end to his career at Deportivo La Coruña. In 2004, Jalminia decided to continue playing his career by joining the Mexican side Club America, but his stay there was short-lived, playing only 5 games before ultimately deciding to retire from professional football at the age of 34. Despite the controversies and setbacks that marked the end of his career, Jalminia was able to reconcile with Deportivo La Coruña and after his retirement, he started to play for the club's indoor football side alongside his former teammates Fran and Naibet. Nowadays, he is often seen playing with them and he is still remembered by Deportivo La Coruña's fans as one of the most talented players that ever represented the club. Jalminia himself admitted that the best years of his life were spent in Deportivo. He added that that was where he felt the most happiest on and off the field. He liked the city, the people and said that everything was perfect. Even though his professional career was cut short, Jalminia's legacy as a player is still remembered by many football enthusiasts who appreciate his skill, creativity and entertaining style of play. Jalminia was a player of substantial talents, who on his best days could be considered as one of the best in the league and was often compared to other Brazilian legends. However, despite his undeniable skill and talent, Jalminia never had the career that he truly deserved. He was plagued by personal issues and conflicts that often overshadowed his performances on the field. He was known for his fiery nature, which resulted in moments of impulsiveness that ultimately led to the downfall of his career. Despite being a player of great skill and potential, Jalminia's career was cut short due to his own actions, which was a great disappointment for his fans and for the football community. But he will always be adored in La Coruña, as La Voz de Galicia noted, when you think about Bebeto, you think about the goals. When you think about Jalminia, you think about the magic. Thank you so much for watching, I really appreciate your support. If you found out something new or compelling, please leave this video a like and let me know your thoughts in the comment section. Your feedback is important to me and it helps me create better content for you. If you enjoyed this video, you might also want to check out something similar by clicking right here. I think you'll find it just as engaging and informative as this one. Make sure to also hit the subscribe button so you never miss out on new content. Thanks again for watching.